and hot guys a horribly interesting fact is that we are literally inside the body of an actual living creature it is a macro creature of staggering proportions this immensely large creature is tens of trillions of kilometers long and perhaps even longer this whole world can be considered a single cell within its body this world serves several purposes one of which is that it houses around 100 levels almost all of which are self-sustainable soul farms the immensely large creature feeds on the souls of the inhabitants dying within the cells of its body these sinister facts of reality are well kept secrets the highest ranks of freemasons are the world rulers and their entire doctrine is based upon serving and servicing the immensely large creature in the body of which we are serving and servicing the immensely large creature includes the full and total diversion of people's attention from the horrible facts of reality a great effort is being done to continuously subject the present day society to a multitude of various indoctrinations and distractions besides the heliocentric lie and the financial enslavement there are many other distractions such as religion international and national politics purposely created armed conflicts fake pandemics and everything surrounding them the promotion of the entertainment industry and competitive sports the falsely represented science of quantum physics and other so-called sciences that are actually non-existent the supposed climate change etc all of these distractions have the purpose of simultaneously create fear excitement and to induce various other emotional states of being while diverting people's attention from the truly horrible facts of reality the whole idea is that the more topics of conversation there are the less time and motivation people have to engage in actual truth seeking the climate change notion can be easily debunked here are a few examples first there's no such thing as a rising sea levels i live in the netherlands and a large portion of it is below sea level there are dikes all over the country that are built to prevent flooding from the sea the sea levels are closely monitored 24 7 even the official data collected from the past 100 years shows no rise in the sea levels whatsoever there are high and low tides but the overall water levels are the same for that particular time of the day year after year second there is plenty of video footage showing a few melting glaciers and it's supposed to create the impression that all glaciers are melting however that's simply not the case according to official data there are a staggering 198,000 glaciers in the world and 509 of the smaller ones have completely disappeared during the last 50 years and even if that's true what the mainstream narrative doesn't show are the newly formed glaciers nor are they showing the many glaciers that are actually expanding another thing is that our world rulers have the technology needed to manipulate the weather they can create rain or temperatures that are much higher than normal whenever and wherever they want 
The very high temperature of the past summer above some parts of Canada, for example, were man-made. A particular type of crystalline particles are being released high in the air above a certain region. The particles are extremely light and can stay in the upper layers of the air for days. They act as a magnifying glass and can considerably increase the power of the sun, creating abnormal temperatures and in such a way are contributing to the belief and promotion of the whole climate change notion. The highest ranked Freemasons know exactly how far they can go with these endeavors and are well aware of the fact that their every move is being closely monitored by the creatures in the UFOs who are the real overseers. Another issue is the notion of toxic emissions. Toxic emissions is yet another ridiculous aspect designed to reinforce the climate change hoax. The truth is that humanity will never be willingly or unwillingly able to synthesize enough poisonous substances to create irreparable damage to the environment. Furthermore, all substances, whether they have been naturally obtained or have been synthesized, are, and always will be, a part of the same entity. The building blocks of absolutely everything are a part of the Source God, an entity that has divided itself into everything and has created rules in its own interest and in the interest of its children, whom are the immensely large creatures in the body of one of which we happen to be. So, just as many other distractions, the supposed climate change does serve an important purpose. Besides the fact that it's a major topic of conversation, its enormous implications create strong and lasting diversions. As long as people talk about saving the environment, they will ignore the terrible and sinister fact of reality even more. And that's exactly what the present day society needs. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.